Right, good morning guys. Um, Bob here from Greybeard Models and I'd just like to show you uh, what's just arrived for the stash. It weighs a ton. Um, it's this kit here from Mini Art. Um, I say it weighs a ton, it must weigh well about three kilos I think. Um, it's a excellent, excellent kit. Um, I've seen one on YouTube that has been completed. I'll just take the lid off. Try and get off the glare. Um, it contains four figures. The gantry crane. The tank. The repair table. The tools. Excuse me, the metal base, sorry, the diorama base, metal chains, and photo etch parts. Uh, the tank includes all the interior stuff as well. And uh, it's bloody excellent. Um, for the money, I paid 70 quid for it. Um, so it's uh, 70 pounds UK. It's an, an excellent kit side of the box shows I don't know if that's coming out okay with the glare but the side of the box shows you the figures and all that sort of stuff really good um, for those of you who are interested it's, uh, it's kit number is there 36063 um, this is not a toy <laughs> so let's see what you get I've not actually opened this, it's literally the postman's just delivered it. And it's one, one big bag of parts. And a set of instructions. Um, this set of instructions is bigger than most magazines. It's incredible. Um, so, nice pictures on the back of what can be achieved with it. Nice good colour reference pictures as well. That's quite good. And then obviously the front has got a picture of, of it as well. Um, I think I'll clear the box out of the way first and I'll come back to the instructions. it all fits in the box so the instructions big A4 size excellent colour call out painting guide decal placements stuff like that sprue call out there's four of that one there's that one Clear parts, two of those, one of those, a decal sheet, PE, PE, one of those, and one of those. Oh my god. Um, two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those, one 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 of those. Oh, four of those. Ammunition, two of those, more ammunition. One of those, one of those, one of those. Incredible amount of parts. And then it goes straight into building the tank and starting with all the internals, including the engine. Wow. The engine detail looks fantastic. Yep, it's definitely going to be an interesting kit to build um, wow well, <laughs> just, just amazed at the amount of detail in this kit it's definitely worth worth doing Got the whole engine um, central compartment driver's compartment the transmission so 
you can do different builds detail parts are phenomenal well I've not, I've not seen this this is how many pages well 45 pages of instruction manual it's going to keep me busy for a couple of days just reading through this and getting a gist of what's going on and looking at where things are going to be where they're going to be built painted weathered put in the kit in the main construction that sort of thing tracks uh, put together with a jig that's cool um, a couple of details in, in in the turret breach details within the turret as well oh, mr. pit huge amount of detail within the turret armor plating additional armor plating on the outside of the turret and then that goes into the main body breakdown of the engine wow alternative tank assembly with the engine so you can put the engine have the engine in the tank or out of it all the panels look like they can be open and you've got the crane assembly with the chains box of tools putting a whole lot onto the diorama base there and then the, the actual figures and miniatures as they put it and then the colour call outs and the colour call outs of Vallejo, Mr. Colour, AK, Mission Models, Ammo MIG, Tamiya. Excellent, excellent stuff. And more pictures of what it can look like. Well, it's going to be a build and a half. <coughs> excellent. Well, that's the instructions. Let me have a look at the kit parts and I'll come back to you. So, um, first thing I would say is um, the bag is actually one sealed unit, so I had to cut it open um, on, on the bench here. And when I lifted the stack of sprues to clear away the bag, a number of parts have actually fallen out of the of the bag the, these look like ejection points on the on the sprue but there's there's a couple of parts here um, that have obviously fallen off of the sprues which is a shame really um, but that's what you get I suppose for stacking everything in one big bag but there's the diorama base that have vac formed material there that's if I use this one we'll see so I just but uh, it's a, a bag that contains the decals and the clear plastic parts which look like primarily observation ports out of the turret um, and a little, little envelope with the photo etch parts. Sorry about the glare. And a little photo etch set there with some spanners and tools and things. And two lots of chains in a little pouch cool put that, back, put that in the box a strip of material which I think 
it looks like it's the from the diorama base I don't know but I'll keep that and the first row is looks like the inside of the tank body like that so a little bit of distortion there on the screw which comes again from being in there but the details here are quite good One, two three looks like injection pin marks there and there's a couple on a couple of these parts that's going to be the the issue I think it's what looks like a couple of ejector pin marks there it depends really whether or not or where these parts are and whether or not those ejector pin marks are seen I don't know enough about this vehicle to be able to determine by looking at the parts whether or not they'll be seen um, but there's quite there's quite a few here by the looks of it but then they might be hidden by other component parts I don't know if I really want to go through all of this, but this is a huge amount of sprues. There's a huge amount of sprues. Again, parts of the, the tank body. Um, the level of detail is is actually really quite good. It's, it's outstanding, actually. Wow. This is going to be interesting to try and put all this back together again. The, the fan on the, on the engine wow level of moulding is incredible remember this is 135th scale so that part there has, has come off the come off the sprue there that's looks like part of the sprue has broken there and if you're not careful it's going to actually break that component part there's a part missing off here part 46 which is probably one of the parts that was loose in the bag I mean the, the level of detail is just incredible I think if you want to build a tank the kit is definitely one to get the engine detail here ammunition stowage here batteries there trying to see if I can find any of the other parts that may have dropped off but this, this looks really, I mean, it's really really cool um, so many parts <laughs> it's incredible um, two of that screw sorry four of that screw Incredible detail. It's going to be great fun building this. It's going to take a while, I should imagine. It's a long time since I've built a tank, and I certainly haven't built a tank with this level of detail and complexity. So, <laughs> a pair of bolt croppers what we call bulk crop was over here in the UK anyway um, yeah the shovel and other bits of tool parts of the figures if my camera will pick this up the level of detail on the facial expressions really good I like that where he's kneeling down the, the pocket 
sort of opened. There's a tool roll there with tools in it. <laughs> That's really quite cool. And, uh, and the other figures. Then the level of detail on the on the uniforms is great. So I'm going to get back to find the other figure. That's the other figure. I'm going to have to get to do some figure painting. More tools, more accessories, accent parts. Next, back to parts of the engine. level of detail is really quite phenomenal on there you can actually see the teeth around the around the rim there again more parts I haven't spotted the other bits that have dropped off but then maybe that's just me not spotting them and again more engine parts there's a part missing there the screw. I don't know which part that will be. But again, engine detail. That part seems to have moved off the off of there maybe? Or is that just a hanging in on one? I mean, when you look at the screw attachments, it's really quite fine. Two of that screw. Again, the <laughs> parts here absolutely tiny. Can be great putting this together. Now just to carry on. Um, yeah, more, more, more detail parts. Ah, uh, there's a part that's come off the screw there. That's really what I'm trying to do is just to see if there's are is are other parts that have fallen off. Um, again, parts of the engine, engine tank body. And the level of detail, oh, there's a little, little blow torch there, and the anvil, some hammers, G clamp, draw brace there, some neat parts, some neat tools there. Okay, another part of the tank body, and that's actually got a texture on it as well. Which is quite cool. Got right here some more parts. Got parts of this might be parts of the winch on the gantry. Some of these parts I really don't know what they are. Now there's some ammunition. But I really don't know. Um, I'd have to go through everything and try and work out what what they all are. What parts of the parts of the wheels. Well, they're round. They could be wheels. Um, yeah, some more parts there. Drive sprockets, by the looks of it. Again, the level of detail, absolutely stunning. We've got casting mark on there, casting numbers. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Some pieces of timber. 
10 there. And that looks like a little trowel. A little time tank jug. Second one of that screw. And that's two screws the same. Again, track links. Two of those. Another one of those. I've looked at that before. One, two. Three, three screws with wheels and suspension. That looks like something off the gantry. gantry one of the gantry wheels, I think. Ammunition. 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 Ammunition, ammunition. So there's a full stowage of ammunition. Question then. The tank was being worked on and in the diorama they're taking the engine out. Wouldn't you have not just thinking out out, out here out, out loud, wouldn't you have removed all the ammunition? So there's lots of risk uh, an inadvertent explosion caused by I don't know short circuit or something I don't know never never stripped a tank um, <laughs> a little toolbox yeah never stripped a tank so sure surely you would have removed all the ammunition before you start just stripping the engine out and all that sort of thing because you know what if something goes wrong you short circuit something um, you're causing it, you know. I mean, if it's fully laden, it's a catastrophic explosion. There, there ain't going to be much left. Um, to more parts for timber. Parts of track linkages. Track linkages. Ah, so they're the linkages, they're the track pins. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> That's going to be fun, but no shots together. And getting to the last two screws now. And these are more larger parts. Oh no, let's go for these. That's the jig for making the track links. And more parts of the body of the tank there. the detail is phenomenal given the, it, the details on both sides absolutely amazing absolutely amazing stuff and the last sprue there you go so those parts I'll put those in a bag and put them in the box. But um, that's from Mini Art. Get the box lid again. That's from Mini Art. Company in the Ukraine. And they're in, called into the box, they're in Kiev. So I hope everybody over there is safe and sound. And uh, you know, talks with you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know it's been a bit of a long one, but thanks for watching, and uh, good luck to everyone in the Ukraine. It's Bob. See you later. Bye.